on yesterday's program, mm -hmm. right, we were talking about, uh, let's see, how did we get on the subject? Uh, oh, we were talking about uh, President Trump appointing, um, you know, Bush flunkies, okay? And so, oh, we were talking about, uh, we were talking, yeah, w the way we got to William Barr, we were talking about McCabe. Yes. Like, who is going to go arrest McCabe? Right. Or, right. who is going to, yeah, in the title of the show, Waterboard. Right. Right? Right. Is that where you're going? Yes. And, and by the way, uh, you know, I don't support waterboarding. We it's used that. Option, no. We used that. It. It's an option, yeah. But yeah, we used that title to to draw attention. All right. We wanted people to think. What would you do? But, How do you get the truth out of somebody? Right. But is that is that too far? If you thought there was treason inside your ranks, wouldn't you do that to say? Well, like, that's what we were told uh, during the Bush administration. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, do you have to do whatever you got to do for national security? Well, Sheikh Mohammed, you know? so, they needed to stop 9-11, yeah, so right. waterboard. Our, our current CIA director yeah. supposedly was an expert at it. That's right. right. Oh, she, so, yeah, she was great. She so, uh, yeah. so anyhow, I, uh, I had a conversation, and I was given some insight. Okay. Uh, so I am going to officially retract my words about Incoming Attorney General William Barr. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So, I don't think I've ever done this before. This is a new one. Yeah, I'm retracting heard. my words, all right? Because remember I said, big whoopee doo, mm -hmm. all right? Bush flunky. A bush flunky. Okay, so, I was given, um, I was given a, a, <laughs> it's tough to come. <laughs> an educational uh, seminar <laughs> on what's going on, okay? And, uh, and I'll, I'll, let me just put it like this, okay? So we've been talking here that the old new world order is dying, mm -hmm. right? And that's been a theme of ours here, all right? The old new world order is dying. And when I say the old new world order, I'm talking about the one that most of us have been talking about for decades, which was... Kissinger. David Rockefeller, mm -hmm. uh, Kissinger. Kissinger, the Bushes, all right, you know, go down that list right there, okay? And, and we've been saying, look, they're all dying off. Mm -hmm. And the, the ones that are left, you know, they got one foot in the grave. Mm -hmm. They didn't accomplish their big dream. Right. Came they close. Did, they came close several times, but they didn't get it done. And now it's falling apart. There's a populist revolt around the world, the whole thing is collapsing. Mm -hmm. Nothing is going their way anymore. And they're old, they're in the 90s or 100, and they're dying off, and it didn't work. Okay, so that's what we've been saying. But we're also saying there's a new New World Order coming. Oh yeah, right? the spirit's still there. Yeah, there's gonna, obviously, I mean, somebody else is gonna pick up the mantle. But I think that's in the East, I don't mean East, Philadelphia, I'm talking, I'm talking about the East, okay, China, Asia, okay, there's another new world order that's going to rise up, okay. Now, the question is, can anybody here in America and the West, can they pick up the pieces of this old, dying new world order? And, and what we've been watching, okay, what we've been watching for the past two years, what we're calling the deep state, that is, that is the, in this country, that is the, 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 the political network of the new world order that has been fighting Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. Because Donald Trump was not supposed to be elected president. It was supposed to be Jeb Bush. Mm. Or Hillary. No, it was supposed no. to be Jeb Bush. Really? Yes. It was supposed to be Jeb Bush. I just don't right. see him as how he could have carried it, it but it, matter. They, they wanted him, huh? Yeah. He was the one who was supposed to win. He got knocked out by Donald Trump. Okay, so then they had to make a decision, all right? So now Hillary's the next best thing they got going for him, mm -hmm. all right? But they, the, the ruling elite really don't care for the Clintons, Right. okay? There are factions in this side, this thing. They're f competing factions. It's not monolithic, mm -hmm. okay? So, remember, um, remember uh, George Herbert Walker Bush's funeral? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Remember the piece of paper? Are you talking about the envelopes? The envelope. That was handed over to First Laura yes. Bush. And then I think they all had Jeb one. Bush. Clinton yes. had one. All right. And the look on Jeb Bush's yes. face? Yeah. Okay, okay so I'm, I, I am not going to tell you yet what, was, what I've been told is in the envelope. Not yet. I re- I've been dying to know. I've all been right. sleuthing not yet. around. Not yet. Okay. But when was William Barr's nomination announced? I think it was two days after the funeral. Mm. Okay. Um, the Trump faction and the Bush faction were, have been at war for two years. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, number 41. George Herbert Walker Bush was running the New World Order. He was the man in charge. He was calling the shots. Oh, yeah, for a long time. Right up to his death, he was calling the shots. He was the godfather. Okay. He died. Uh, The family, the boys, the sons, didn't want it. They didn't want to do what his father did. They didn't want to pick up. They didn't want that mantle on them. They didn't want to take the throne. They didn't want to take the throne. Okay. Mm-hmm. There was a, a let's just say, um, an ultimatum. An ultimatum that came at the funeral. Mm-hmm. Okay. And directly after the funeral, a truce was signed. Really? Yes. Okay. Well, now that starts making a lot of sense now. Okay. Because it was after that that you started hearing phrases from all the different people within the Trump administration picking up the phrase, New World Order. Liberal World Order. Liberal Liberal World Order. Liberal world order. There was a truce. There was an agreement. Okay. Uh, that uh, the Trump faction would not prosecute the Bush faction along with the Clintons. Mm. But you remember when Jeb saw that and his face changed? Yes. And like- yes. What was on what that was on paper? It. Stay tuned. <laughs> Stay tuned. Okay. You know. Um, not fully yet. Mm-hmm. Not fully. But it has, it has to do with the truce. Okay. So you think Barr won't go after McCabe? This is all. This is Mr. All. Barr. Mr. Barr is uh, the Trump's. I mean, excuse me. Mr. Barr is the. Um, he is the uh, Bush liaison emissary yes. to enforce the truce. This is why Robert Mueller is packing up and leaving. Okay, I get it. They'll say, we'll call up the dogs. Who, who, is, who is Robert Mueller? Who did he work for? The Bushes. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. right. It's all over. It's over. The, the, the whole... Resist Trump, take Trump down, operation of the deep state, it's over. All right. Did, are, are you speculating that the Trump administration just did a hostile takeover of the New World Order? I'm not saying a hostile takeover. They, they reached a, a settlement, an understanding, hmm. all right, that... Um, uh, they would not take down key members of it in return for the hounds of hell being called off. This is one of the best episodes of True News I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. uh, so um, like pins and needles here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but it it's it's all fitting in. The pieces are coming yes. together. You're seeing it. Yes. Why is this sudden change? 
Robert Mueller, we're told, is going to pack up, go home, not even issue a report. Not even issue a report. And so Andrew McCabe is just that last gasp that's out there? The well, last. That's, the, that's the flunkies in the operation who are realizing they're getting burned and used. Hey, we better get our money and get out of here while we yeah. can. <laughs> but All you right. said you wanted to retract it. Why, why retract? Because Mr. Barr is going to be a good attorney general. <laughs> I'll I'll wait till the jury comes in on that one. So I think he's going to be I think he's going to be a great attorney general. Mm. All right. For, for, for who? Look at his predecessor. <laughs> be a good for attorney who? general. I have no problems with Mr. Barr. Need to look now. at your notes okay. here. What do you got here that I don't? I, know. I was I was given uh, a, I was given a different perspective on what's happening and uh-huh. and uh, Mr. Barr is going to be a good attorney general. Okay. All right. So we're just going to let that ride. All right. But the war against Mr. Trump is over mm. from the deep state mm. in the tr- in the Bush Republican side of the deep state in the Justice Department. It's over. Well, oh, the whole the whole thing. Listen, I mean, they were running an operation using intelligence agencies. Mm-hmm. All right. George Herbert Walker Bush was the CIA director. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. So do you think th- a lot of this then was retaliation on how Trump dismantled Jeb Bush. Not only dismantled Jeb Bush, but he humiliated he, he, him. Humiliated him, but he st- he 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 stopped the whole operation. Okay, right. And um, knew a lot of the previous activities involving the Bushes. Mm. A lot of stuff that that will not come out now. This is what I'm trying to tell you. It will never come out now. It, it got too close. To got too close. And the Bush family will all go down in history as great leaders. It's all going to be covered up. Okay? But Donald Trump's not going to be removed. There's not going to be a Republican challenge against him in 2020. Okay. There's been a settlement. There's been a... Um, a negotiated agreement. Negotiated agreement like Trump meeting Kim Jong-un. They made a deal. Do you it, think they laid out a, a new New World Order for this? Do, do no, their, their old world order is dead. It's, it's, uh, uh, I, I think the Trump faction is now in the driver's seat. All right. They have some new people who will yes. guide them. But nobody, nobody on the old side is picking up the... George Herbert Walker Bush mantle, mantle because uh, the power that he had, mm-hmm. what he knew, mm-hmm. the connections that he had, nobody can step up in that role. So who's inherited that role now? I don't, th- that was what I was told is that nobody is taking it. Mm-hmm. And so now the other players, the more junior players are saying, let's negotiate a settlement our, our uh, godfather is gone, okay? With, with we, vacuums, we, though, right. whenever there's a vacuum, someone right. always wants to come in. Yeah. I think I know who it is. I think we know who is going to fill that New World Order mm-hmm. vacuum. Yeah. I d- um, just watch the policies in yeah. the next six months. Yeah, so anyhow, there's, there's, there is a change. Uh, uh, this, this, all this stuff's going to go away. Listen, uh, Adam Schiff is still going to be out there. Right. Nancy Pelosi is still going to be oh, blowing partisan smoke. Partisan po- politics. That's stuff. That's the, they're going to continue. But I'm telling you right now. It's all for show. It's What's nobody. Right? Do, those guys don't have the power to do anything. No. The people who had the power are the ones that just cut the deal. Mm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. They've made a peace settlement with Donald Trump. Yeah. The good side is President Trump is not going to be forced out of the White House. The bad side is a lot of corrupt people will never be prosecuted. Okay. It's just how it is in, in U.S. Yep. politics. Business as usual. It's business as usual. Wow. It's business Emphasis as usual. Emphasis on business. But well, that's good. Emphasis on the business. Yeah, true. That's, that, right. that's very true. Emphasis on the business. Okay. So... I think they, they found out he was tougher, more resilient uh, than they ever imagined. 
that they just kept hitting at him and he he stood. But I think behind the scenes, he was gathering. Uh, he was gather, gathering evidence, the yeah. goods on them. Mm -hmm. and, and what did I say for two years? The race is who's going to go to prison first. Wow. Yeah. That's what this is all about. So they made a deal where no one goes to prison. They made a deal nobody goes to prison. So Roger Stone, but who cares about that? <laughs> yeah. But all this will be, there'll be pardons. Manafort. Oh, yeah, Manafort. No, no. Manafort. All these oh, guys he's going to get pardoned. Cohen. Yeah. All these guys will get pardoned. Except Cohen. They'll all get pardoned. It'll be, it'll be all over. Yeah. Christmas. I've always you gotta, thought that. You was stay in jail yeah. Christmas. The amazing thing is you will write not book. see. Write a book. Write a book. You, oh, but you will not see a report. How crazy is that? You will not see all this two years investigation just gone. Because that was part of the deal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's over. They made a deal. There won't be a report f from the Bush side and there won't be an investigation of the Bushes from the Trump side. Mm. Were you told what was on that paper? Not exactly. I was uh, told it'll be revealed to me at, at the appropriate time. How many words? <laughs> I have no idea. Does it rhyme with N duck? <laughs> N-W-O, again. Is the secret word, you know? So, oh, yeah. yeah uh, Groucho. Well, um, I, I, look, I'm going to guess. I'm going to speculate. I think, I think it was the threat. Mm. I think behind the scenes what was going on I mean, here's the godfather is laying in the casket. Mm. Call off the dogs. Yes. Is what it said. Yep. I, I, that's my own guess. Right. That it was something made Jeb Bush. to them and it was shocking. Oh, Jeb Bush. I've watched that so many times and his face. I mean, it tells right there. Yeah. He'd be a terrible poker player because yes. yes. it just was one to the other. It's, that's, and remember, President Trump was invited to the funeral. Yes. I mean, there was a truce, at, but it was a, it was a uncomfortable, tense. Yeah, he wasn't. I think he left before the yeah. casket, too. Yeah, but uh, it's anyhow, the war, the war on Donald Trump is now over. Oh. The only ones who are going to continue is going to be Saturday Night Live and MSNBC and that kind of stuff. And, but it's. The rest of it is over.